Hello again, it is Sunday. Actually, it is Monday, because Sunday I came over here to video, and we got here real late. It was Mother's Day. And Maria had to do some running around to get some things, so we got to her house late. So it was way too late to video, it was dark. And Mother's Day was happening. Happy Mother's Day to all of you and her. So I decided to come back early in the morning on Monday the 13th. So here I am. 8 o'clock in the morning, I drove over here. She's in getting ready because we're going to head off. And there goes the bags of... Those are uh, cement bags emptied and then filled with a clean sand. They weigh 80 pounds each. And I am just so... Watching this, I want to grab them bags and go, but they won't let me. I used to love carrying bags, mixing concrete, doing all this stuff, but they won't let me touch a thing. Which I should stay out of their way anyway, because I'd be right in the middle. That little slice there, that's where an external plug is going to be, because there's going to be a mount there with a aircon system sitting on it. We're going out after we leave here and order this window in. We ordered windows for it and the other places and we used that window in another spot. So we ordered another one as soon as we left here. It takes them one day to assemble a custom size window. And it's right around the corner from here. Didn't know it was that close. So we're in seventh heaven. At the same time, we have to go down to a certain hardware store but look at these window boxes they form out. Remember what it looked like before. Very rough. If you saw last videos or the corner of this wall. You'll see more walls unfinished. But this is the way they finish out. Then they plug the window in there and it's ready to go with a ledge on the inside. So you can set a glass on it, whatever you want. No, there's no wood. Then they finish forming out the outside structure. Those are those uh, steel round posts that are in there. Then they rebarb and form these pillars on each corner. They do it everywhere for holding around the metal structures. There's the raw parts back in there because they just started skim coating the back. So I want to show you what they do is they plop on you just throw it on with your trowel. You'll see it just plopped. Plop, 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 plop. Lump it on there. Slap it on there. And it gets into the cracks when you slap it. It just smooshes in there by itself. And you do the whole wall like that. Just plops. Then you come back over it. And put a second skim coat on it. Oh. So there's the raw wall, there's the plops, and there is the skim coat. When you plop it like that, it can't crack because it's all zigzaggy plopped, not anything in a straight line. That's the neighbor's view. They're building way back over there. And I don't think they're getting as far along. And it's probably not family doing it either. There's all kinds of stuff laying around. And these pillar blocks are being formed all the way around. You'll see in my last videos when they're raw, they're just rough edges with the uh, welded on support beams that hold the rebarb crisscrosses going through all of the cinder block. Like a bunker.
the edge of that wall is what that wall looked like. The end of this wall looked like the other one. And then they've now put a, a header up here, which holds the uh, metal cross members for the ceiling out here, which is the back side of the karaoke area, recreational room. And they formed blocks there too. They put wood frames up and then pour that header up there. And they haven't taken the frames down yet. But all those beams up there were all hand welded together and painted. All of it. All of those little cross members and everything are all hand welded and made, not store bought. And then you mix up the old cement. That's the skim coat they're working on. I'll walk around and show you that header goes all the way down and it looks like it's a, oh, maybe a 9 by 10 poured inside header and what it does is you can see where those cross members go right into it they're welded to uh, ground support beams and then encased in the cement solid with rebar running all through it you can look at my last videos it's all there I just wanted to get you updated on what they've been doing before they start ribbon ripping the frames off As they poured that in the last couple days and I wasn't here then they'll end up skim coating those walls which is the back side of the recreation area and there's their scaffolding you're gonna mix all the sand up make sure it's all blended right before you put the water in there's another skim coated finished wall. And they're adding on some more blocks on top of this one because they want to take it all the way up to those upper beams. We kind of changed a little bit on how to finish it off. So it's going all the way to there. Then there'll be an angled beam ceiling going down to the master bedroom, a slope. You'll, I'm not going to explain it, you'll have to see it. Which will add a little design other than square. Because the ceiling portion, all that metal building up above and all that is suspended above the actual building. Great for ventilation and to keep the heat off. And those are the supports for the suspended ceiling in all the rooms. The CRs, and those are not drop ceilings with panels in them. They are suspended metal ceilings, very strong. You can hang on that. And then plywood goes in there. There's a piece of the plywood just leaning up against that window. That's a plywood ceiling. And then it's finished off. Plug socket. That's for the exterior lights in the playroom. Transfer box for the electricity. Her other brother is an electrician, does the electrical work on contract jobs, and he comes over here and does stuff over here. Now they have rough poured the cement here in this room. They have the doorway going in, another socket box there. Preformed door jams. Like I say, if you want to start a fire in here, good luck. You ain't going to do it. There's no wood. Can't have termites. Eliminate the wood, no termites. Then there's another 
deal coming in up there where there's going to be a wire plugged in and a plug up there for a TV. Or something else. That's where the plywood goes. Up on that. And so we ordered the window when we left here, and it'll be ready tomorrow. One day. They have it ready to go. You just give them the sizes, they build it. Metal windows, aluminum windows, I believe. In a brown anodized tone. Fresh bags of cement. We're probably going to have to order some more of that soon. Looks like they were down to eight or nine bags. There's one of her brothers. He's the guy that does all the forming of the concrete in these windows. Very custom job. He's the masonry on the job. Some of the little rooms and stuff, they're just finishing up a lot of that. Getting ready to pour some more slab floors. And I know everybody's looking going, well, how come they don't pour the slab first? Because you don't pour the slab first. You are if you're going to put a stick foundation around, a foundation around the outside and then build on that and you don't build with block walls interior if you do it'd be busting your slab all to pieces so you you bury your foundation around here and build your blocks on top of that and then pour your slabs to lock everything in place no cracks think about it It would be nice to go in there and do some of that, though. I know if I did, though, they would kind of, I don't know. They wouldn't get mad at me, but they would tell me to sit down. You're old. <laughs> right, Maria? <laughs> so it's best to leave them alone. Because if you've ever been on a building crew, every man has its job. And every guy on every site has his own way of doing it. If it's not your way, too bad. Shut up and get out of the room. If you think you know better than they do, why are you standing there watching? Do it yourself. And that's who I was most of my life. I would do most of it myself because I didn't trust anybody. Because most of the guys come on the job, I can do this, I can do that. By noon, you're firing them, get rid of them. Easier to do it yourself, get them out of the way. I haven't had to do any of that here. One guy checks another guy. And there's, uh, these guys work on other construction jobs with contractors and they're, they're kind of booked out. But they're helping here because this is their sister. If it was just me, I wouldn't be able to get these guys together, I'm sure. So it's a great thing. That this is a family thing here. There's two of her brothers over there working. One on the scaffolding, that's the masonry guy. And I do miss getting on scaffolding and running around. One day we get on some different projects where we're not, where I wouldn't get in the way and I'll do something. Just gotta do it. When they were welding all those beams together and everything, I was like, oh man, what fun. Fitting all those in and getting them to fit support right. 
and I think I said in another video there's a beam coming down in the center if so I'm going to show it there no nope. and it's being eliminated after all the structures are in place it was basically put there to build on well actually they took it out since the last time I was here it's been cut off didn't see that till right now till I'm editing <laughs> it was right where the concrete's being poured or the cement I didn't realize it was gone okay That'll be a slanted ceiling come down to that one bedroom from that high part. And that'll be the same kind of ceilings as in the bedrooms. And that whole big space out there is going to be all seating and everything for parties and karaoke. Oops. Who was that? She was telling me she's going in to take a shower so we can leave while I finish up. Then we'll go by the window and our door. And her brother came down to the hardware store. There's a Home Depot here, they call it. And it's like a Home Depot. And then there's one called City Hardware little ways away from that one and it looks just like a Home Depot inside and that's where we're starting to buy stuff because the deals are much better so they have a way big selection of toilets doors And if I'd have known about them earlier, we might have even done windows there, but I doubt it because we're kind of having them special made. Because they have the tint on the inside and the mirror effect on the outside, reflective. And I'm following these little chickens around, hopping around everywhere. I said in one video the chicken's going to run around loose. There's not much here that's going to eat them like birds. Like where I'm from and most people are from, we can't let our chickens run around too much. They'll get eaten by hawks and ravens and everything else. Here, they just have a good time. Cleaning things up. Bunch of little chicks. There's a field right next door. I don't know who that belongs to. But there's some cows out there. And in the distance there's a goat. close-up look at the, the old uh, fencing there. Didn't know they used barbed wire, but they do. Or they used to. I don't know if they use it much anymore. That's got to be just for the cows. Most time they just tie the cow to a tree. There's a lot of starter trees here and stuff, but they're kind of wilting because they're doing nothing, but there is, hasn't been any rain in a long time. And they're doing nothing but dumping sand and 
all this dry stuff all around the ground, so I'm sure it's sucking the moisture out of the ground. So they'll have to be tended to. Oh, there's the boss. Checking things out. And her little dog. There's a Rusi. And in the other videos I showed this area here, that's a cleaning station for the sand. Back piece of the property. And they're starting to work on all those panels on the roof area for that extended room. They're just laying up there. So they're trying to get the forms off of that big header they just formed up to lock in on that far wall. So there's two of them up there getting ready to pull that apart. And I guess the next step they'll probably do is probably start fastening those metal roof panels down. Get them locked into place. Because they just asked us uh, yesterday, I think it was, about painting them underneath or covering them with a ceiling and we didn't want them covered. Uh, kind of leave an industrial look, kind of show their work, which it's so pretty. Why cover it? Don't need a ceiling in there. Yeah, it would help if you had a ceiling and it was raining. You would hear the raindrops and then it would might disturb your karaoke, but when you keep your karaoke at full blast, there isn't much raindrops are going to get in the way. And I figured out here, the full blast is the norm. There is no low volume on their amplifiers. So we're taking a little walk. Wilting trees. And I don't see any real rain coming in the forecast either. A lot of the clouds that do it, they might be over the mountains and they rain, that's rainforest right up out of the mountains, right up there. And they do get rain a lot, but not as much as they would like. Kind of dry right now. So if you're going to grow anything, you, you need to bring water in through a spring or something diverted in. It looks like they're doing a pretty good job. They were here before I got here and I got here at eight. So they were here about seven. Doing a great job. Before it's actual livable, I would say another month before you can actually live in it or move in it. And about, I figured when we started, it would be about July 4th to have it really ready to go. But they might have it done a little earlier than that. But at least by July 4th, the so dec decorating and all that stuff will be done. I am sure the tile floors, everything paint so to me they're ahead of schedule these are the blocks used here I should have reached over except these blocks are brand new I don't see any scraps laying around if I grab the edge of that and pull on it just with my hand just squeeze my hand on it that'll crush If I just did that and grip that real hard, it would just break apart. They're not made for structural strength, they're made for forms. You put them up and then they're poured, inside and outside. Probably two inches on the outside and poured in the middle with rebar. 
a little different than we're used to. In the US, we wouldn't even be able to transfer those blocks without breaking them all. And see that red pole at the end? That's what the end of the building used to look like where all those corners were blocked off to make it look like uh, square end caps on that left-hand corner way back there. So all of the ends where those steel um, struts are going down, the red ones, those will all be filled and around, rounded off, squared off. They look like pillars. And when it's covered up, I've seen many of them covered up. I haven't watched the building process here. But when I've seen them covered up, I, I don't even know what's underneath there. This way I got to see what's underneath all that smooth, sharp corners, nice looking pillars. What's underneath there? Well, I got to see it. very very strong if you ever watch them build anything for the military bunkers it's the way it's done and I don't know where they picked that up from maybe from the buildings that were done in World War II here and when they tear them down or do something they get to see how they were put together by the military US I don't know but it looks to me like the same kind of structuring built to if you run a tank into it it isn't going to knock the wall down that's pretty much the way they are when they're finished for the guy that likes to punch hole in walls forget it so it'd be good for a rental because you can't do anything here's the fighting cocks next door they have the round hoops on the bottom, or on the top, and they're tied to a post. That's his area. That's the one I like. And there's a couple more running around here. There's one of her little doggies. She has three. And the old Rusi running me around. And there's another hoop with another fighting cock back there. And there's a hoop with a tie rope on the bottom of it. Right there. And no cock. I would guess that one lost. He's not there no more. But they'll get up there and play the king of the roost. And if you untied those, they'd be out there fighting each other. So you got to tie them up. Keep them separated. It's a big event around here. It's bigger than anything. Any sport. But that'll be about it.